Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first customer webinar. Uh, my name is Anna Chen Yuntai. I'm a CEO and co founder of Episcore. And I'm here today with Trevor Ragno, who is the, the director of construction technologies at Episcore. Hey, Trevor. Hello. Hey. And so I'm really very excited to have today Gusty uh, Gulas and Harrison Gilas uh, from Cured Homes. And uh, uh, this is the, an Alabama based home builder and also one of our first customers to start using Episcore technology next year to build 3D print homes. So, hello, guys. Hey, thanks for having us on. Hey. Hey, hey, perfect. So uh, today we're gonna talk about application of the construction to uh, 3D printing technology um, from the perspective of the customer, basically from the perspective of the home builder like you guys. And so I hope this conversation will provide a better understanding why construction really needs new technologies and why home builders are getting interested in find out the new solutions for construction and how we can uh, you know, do better with the, how we build homes. And just as a reminder about Episcore, we are not the home builder, we are the construction technology company and we develop the technologies and provide those technologies to construction companies and home builders so they can increase productivity, build more homes much quicker and with better quality. So they basically the construction companies can battle the housing crisis. And so uh, let's start the introductions and uh, uh, Gusty Harrison would, would really love to know, uh, would really love you to tell more about yourself and your company. Yeah, sure. No, thanks so much. Well, um, Harrison, as long with another party uh, partner, Cody Lucas, have formed a, a company called Cured Homes. And our goal is to focus on affordable housing opportunities, not only uh, with a main focus of bringing affordability solutions to the Birmingham market, and that's Birmingham, Alabama. Um, so we have, uh, we have uh, come from different dynamics. We've come from the construction world. We've come from the real estate sales world. We've come from um, uh, property management. We've come from all these different worlds with the same focus of bringing that affordability to homeowners. And so, um, Harrison, you want to share anything else? Yeah. Um, so we all three got together and we were trying to figure out a solution for the affordability crisis uh, amongst not only Alabama, but the rest of the country and the world that is facing. Uh, we want to build more efficiently. We want to have houses that are uh, going to last the test of time and overall be better for our customers and for everyday citizens that we know around Birmingham. Uh, we felt that Concrete printing was the best avenue to go uh, about uh, exploring. And as we were doing research, we found that Apiscore had the best machine uh, from flexibility of bringing it out to the job site to uh, setting it up and um, not having to bring additional labor uh, in a crane to set up the machine itself. So uh, we felt that Apiscore was a step ahead when it comes to all things, including the concrete mix and figuring out building code and uh, several other things. So we gave um, you guys a call and we felt that you guys were uh, a great fit for us, for what we're looking for. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for, for saying that. And actually, uh, Cured Homes is also one of the investors in our company through our Reggae Plus. So we are really feel a really good you know, support and synergy going forward. And actually talking about the, our plans working together. So we going to start through the print homes uh, next year. And it's gonna be part of the affordable housing program that I believe Gusty can share more about it. Sure. Yeah, well, we, we have a letter of intent with the city of Birmingham to provide affordable homes through infill lots uh, and using the 3D printer, you know, forward thinking construction technology. We believe that what this is going to do is it's going to help kind of uh, help fill in what we uh, what our actual mayor said is snaggle tooth lots and areas. Uh, so that's really where we're going to focus on the info lots. Um, but the affordable housing crisis in, in Birmingham, Alabama, the average price or the average 
um, income is only $24,000. So we have to provide an affordable solution. And so we've been working with the city of Birmingham through their community development and working with ways to try to find out what are going to be the best avenues as far as lots to identify and who is going to be the, the, the best folks to, to end up as the end users of these properties. And, uh, and the city of Birmingham is helping facilitate this with us. So we're excited. We're pumped to be working with the city of Birmingham. And we believe that, that partnering with APIS Corps as well as allow us gonna, uh, to, to put really Birmingham as kind of a forefront uh, thinking in this 3D technology standpoint. And it's going to just provide a lot more value for the, the residents of Birmingham. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you, you know, we're also really excited about working together since you have this really good understanding what city needs, right? And like you have this right. experience with the in the real estate and home development and everything. So yeah, we see a, a lot of opportunities there. In Alabama, it's actually like everywhere, right? Our country basically in the housing crisis, it's not just in the particular city. Uh, but yeah, uh, and also the you mentioned that it's going to be kind of like an individual lots across the, the, the city. And it's just something that really can, Episcore technology can really provide because we have the really compact 3D printer and we don't need to have like a lot of space just to, you know, accommodate the size of the, of the printer. We really kind of can like sneak between the uh, two buildings in a very tight uh, space, for example. So it's not a problem for us to really uh, through the print houses across the city and urban area. So yeah, that's also really exciting for us to demonstrate this opportunity as well. And so, you know, maybe the one more question is like, uh, what have you seen so far the problem in the, uh, in the construction? Why we really need to have this uh, new technologies and specifically why you got interested in specifically in 3D printing? Harrison, you wanna take this one? Yeah, um, so we, we are very much interested in 3D printing moreover than uh, modular or um, the other traditional ways of building uh, because it's a new approach uh, for what we're trying to accomplish from a durability standpoint, uh, it makes more sense with uh, tornadoes coming through our state. We're not far from the coast. So occasionally, you know, as you know, in Florida with hurricanes, that those can be a problem around Alabama. Um, having the technology that APIS Corps is providing is able to not only build uh, homes faster, but have homes that will last uh, for those everyday people that want to um, have a house that is going to be more efficient in the summer or winter time, but also in the everyday scenarios that Mother, Mother Nature can grow, throw at you know us. Um, so uh, we felt that um, out of all the machines, again, Apis Core was the best one when it comes to flexibility and design to be able to bring out um, Frank to the job site and set up and uh, maneuver it in such a way that it would cut down on not only labor costs, but also transportation costs and set up. Yeah, so we felt yeah, good. great points. And about the durability, that's uh, really something that we have been working on to make sure how we can through the print homes that can be structurally safe and sound, not just through the print, you know, the uh, nice looking walls and without putting any sense in the structural uh, perspective of the, on that. So uh, as you already know, we developed the infill or like a uh, design of the, of the wall that structurally mimic the concrete masonry unit construction. And uh, that means that we can reinforce the walls the same way as we would do this for the masonry, for the concrete block wall. And our material even stronger than the uh, concrete block, you know? So that actually something that uh, really make uh, our through the printed houses stronger and uh, specifically, uh, especially in case for the flooding, right? When they, all of the water going around and recently all of the events in, the, in Florida, uh, hopefully didn't really uh, get to Melbourne where, where we are, but uh, unfortunately the other part of the of Florida was really heavily damaged. And uh, we believe that the houses that we can 
3D print by providing our technology, they definitely will go, will last longer. And I think Trevor, you, you probably can tell more about this and better than me about how we actually comply with the building codes and really ensure that the 3D print houses are safe and sound. Uh, oh, well, I'm not sure if I can explain it better, but I can give it my best shot here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, essentially, concrete block construction is the gold standard of construction. And on the topic of things like flooding and hurricanes, uh, those tend to be the homes that are left standing after the storm passes and after the floods recede. Um, it's an extremely resilient material that there are building codes for in every city, state, county, local, tribal government across the country and mostly around the world. So instead of reinventing the wall, we decided to essentially copy the gold standard of construction. Um, why make something new if everybody understands and already has building codes for something that we can now build much faster and more efficiently using this technology? Instead of manually assembling these blocks, the printer just makes these concrete block wall assemblies fully assembled right on the construction site. It's essentially a really intelligent concrete block making machine that always puts the walls exactly where you want them. And you know, when it comes to secondary construction, there's already well-defined ways to reinforce concrete block walls and attach concrete block walls to the slab and to the roof and windows and doors and all of these other secondary things that um, things like subcontractors can very easily look at these 3D printed walls and understand immediately, oh, you know, this looks familiar. I, I install windows for a living and I know instantly what to do with this window without any explanation because if you set concrete blocks all around it, everything matches up, everything's identical. So this helps from a structural design aspect, from an architectural aspect, so actually creating those documents from a, a permitting aspect, you aren't asking to create a new building codes. You aren't asking to do anything that is not IBC compliant. Everything that we're doing uh, complies with the uh, IBC standards for concrete masonry unit construction. So everything from design to approval to, well, actually building, that's where the easiest part is. Um, and then even after for the secondary construction, um, it's, it's something that is, if anything, easier than traditional concrete block construction because you're able to integrate some of these things like outlets and reinforcement and insulation while the printer's actually operating. You know, typically the concrete block crew has to leave before you start putting in some of these secondary things, but now we can have concurrent construction activities and, and shorten the overall construction timeline even faster than what you just traditionally think on how fast does the printer move versus how fast does a concrete block uh, crew move. Um, uh, that comparison, we're looking about nine times faster for the 3D printer. However, once you also factor in all of those other secondary activities that are going into these walls that are structurally really identical to a concrete block wall, um, that's where you can really start seeing a lot of these efficiencies and, and seeing how that resiliency can also lead to long-term savings from you know, reduced maintenance costs. These are virtually maintenance-free walls. Yeah. Yeah, great points. And actually, you mentioned about the uh, building faster. And one of the, I, I think Gusty can can uh, address it uh, based on the experience. Uh, sometimes people kind of like got confused. They think that we try to take the jobs away from other people. Uh, but in reality, uh, there is a huge labor shortage, right? And uh, construction companies and home builders they just literally cannot build fast enough because they don't have access to the uh, to the labor. Uh, so with the machines and with the technology, we we try to fill this gap and help construction companies to build more. So Gusty, maybe you have some like a, you can share something about that. What actually happened today in the uh, construction process when you use the traditional uh, technologies and traditional methods? Sure. Well, you know, here's the thing. Um, if you've got subs, they are going to go to the place that is going to give them the most amount of money. And so unfortunately, what can happen sometimes is you might have them there on a Tuesday and they might not be there on Wednesday because somebody else offered them a little bit more money. So there is a labor shortage. I think a lot of it that comes from uh, not enough education, not enough recruitment of people learning trades. And so this is, this is absolutely where 
we can focus on a partnership with with a, a 3D printing company to allow less uh, issues of people not showing up on the job site. So it's gonna what it's gonna do is gonna expedite uh, a home build or or anything along those lines. So it's a huge issue in the construction business. And this is definitely a way that we can minimize any kind of potential issues that way. Oh, yeah. And thank you very much for that. And you, before we even started this webinar, you were sharing that uh, today, uh, it's even like a hard to find the house that you would like to live in because of the uh, not enough inventory in the market. So uh, maybe you can kind of also support my uh, opinion that with the 3D printing technologies, construction companies can build more. This is how we're going to have more inventory. And this is how people actually can have really accessible housing, not just affordable, but at least accessible. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we, we do have a housing shortage. And so we are seeing an increase in listings uh, because of the market change, increase in interest rates. However, there's still a need for, um, for, for home buyers finding that perfect house. So whether it's an affordable home or something that they want is more of a forward thinking home, then there is more people. There are people that are sitting on the sidelines waiting for opportunities. So being able to produce a home uh, in an efficient manner, uh, you know, a lot of typical uh, stick builds is going to be anywhere from four to eight months out, depending on the size of the house. And so we believe that we would be able to produce a 3D printed home in a 30 to 45 day manner, which would expedite. I mean, think about somebody coming into a spec house and picking out everything they wanted and then literally moving into a brand new house in 30, 45 days. That's, the, that's really where we're looking at this thing. So being able to develop neighborhoods. Um, and, and so we're, we're super pumped and super excited about it. Oh, perfect. And maybe you can also share a little bit more about the need uh, for the houses in the state in general. I remember that you mentioned that it's like a thousand of, of houses that need to be built today. So maybe you have some like a uh, long term vision of the market sure. in Alabama for three different houses. Yeah, well, we're looking at actually some joint ventures with some other contractors that are in need all throughout the southeast, that there is, again, that shortage, not only in Birmingham, but really across the country. And so we've got, um, we've got some uh, joint ventures that we're looking at partnering with to produce hundreds, potentially thousands of houses in different states that would allow for, for homebuyers to, to purchase or to go in and, and rent uh, a house. There is a need for more housing. And this is really where partnering with APIS Core is going to be a huge benefit. So we can we can provide it in a more efficient manner and we can provide it what we believe is in a more affordable manner. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much for sharing all of this information. I think that's, that's going to be really valuable uh, and insightful information for more customers and like more companies who also want to uh, use EpiScore because our goal is to basically empower any all of the builders in America, right? Because it's the huge need for the houses and uh, uh, like a million of houses should be built. And of course, it's like we need hundreds of thousands of companies like Pure Homes, more EpiScores, for example, in the future uh, because it, it's a huge gap and like a huge need for the houses. So. You know, uh, I'm really happy and excited about our, our uh, conversation. I think that was uh, kind of quick, but very, very uh, um, resourceful, I would say. So thank you very much for your time and uh, sharing all of your, uh, you know, view and perspective on the market and why you decided to work with us. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're so welcome. Glad to help out. Yeah. Thanks.